Hola, hola guys, just Jasmine here, still in quarantine. I'm here today to talk about this funk, this rut, this negative energy that some of us are feeling. It makes me very unproductive, it makes me very introverted, and sometimes working out, you know, making a nice meal, pouring a glass of wine, yoga, meditating, praying, sometimes those things just don't work. So I've been trying to find other alternatives to consistently keep myself in a you know positive mental space so i got three things to share with you today i hope something helps you out and of course leave a comment below if you end up liking some of these so you can read and listen to podcasts all day but something that i've tried again to help me in my mental space is I've been listening to positive affirmations. And the good thing about these affirmations, guys, is that you can be very specific, um, whether it's YouTube, Google, wherever you're looking, right? You can find um, like self-love affirmations, self-confidence affirmations, success and business affirmations. Um, there's just a whole bunch of variety of affirmations. So if you wanted to get you know, in that mental space and kind of push and motivate yourself in a direction, then I would say, you know, pick out something that's that's relevant. Um, I've even found a few videos of subliminal, um, a sl subliminal positive affirmations while you sleep and it's like an eight hour video. Um, I know that sounds a little crazy, but when you start hearing or when you start reading and you're actually saying, you know, I am wonderful, you know, I am valuable, I bring positivity with me everywhere, I am abundantly blessed. Like when you start saying these things, your subconscious doesn't always know what's real or what's not right. So even though you don't believe it immediately, kind of saying these things out loud, kind of just thinking about it, at some point you're going to get an affirmation where you're like, oh, I am awesome. Or yeah, I, I really am, you know, worthy of X, Y, Z. So get out there, look for some positive affirmations, you know, be a little specific with what you look into, but I hope that'll really help. And I think that's really encouraging if you're, again, a couple or something like that. You guys can give self-affirmations to one another and read to each other, right? Words of affirmation are definitely a love language. Um, so either that is your love language, so you're gonna, you know, just feel really great about it. And maybe your partner is even gonna learn, you know, how to give you more of that language. Um, and then as well, you know, if you have any kids or anything like that, where you're where they're able to communicate and understand, and you're, you know, you're just breathing and and reading all this goodness and life and positivity into them, then you know, perhaps that, again, will just take your brain out of that funk and just feed in all of that goodness. So if I can snap out of it sometimes, what I end up noticing is that there's really more stress going on in my body that's kind of taking away my peace of mind. So again, you, you'll notice it, right? And for some of us, most of us, we work out, we do things that are physical, but I'm being physical, I'm, I'm eating clean, I'm drinking a lot of water, I'm doing all these things and sometimes trying to get myself into that positive space it just isn't happening. So what I found that has been really helping me um, has been trying breathing techniques. And I'm just going to talk about the one that I really love doing and that's the Wim Hof um, breathing technique. I will include the link because he has this awesome 11 minute beginner breathing kind of um you know video and it's really cool when he talks about the benefits and the different things like that i'm sure may maybe you've heard of him he goes by the ice man um so if you've seen a bunch of people like hopping in the ice this is the breath the breathing technique that you do prior to jumping in um but it's really all about calming the body relaxing the body um and it just, again, it takes away stress in a different way. Oh my gosh, even just thinking about it. Look, let's just try one thing, right? Take a deep breath with me. Three seconds in, three seconds out. Ready? Oh. 
One more time. I love breeding. It's just so nice. And it makes me miss my Gene Keys friends out there. If you guys are watching, fam bam, I miss you guys. I can't wait to have some cacao and some time with you. But <laughs> so for some of you, sometimes you're just not going to want to hear anything. You're not going to want to get a download of information, right? I have these moments where I'm like, I don't want to listen to music. You know, I love hip hop. I love rap. And there's times I'm just like, I can't listen to that right now. But I also don't want to be in silence. So I found, <laughs> you like how my face was like, <gasps> that was the moment actually. I actually just came across this the other week. I've heard about this before, I've seen it before, I've just never looked into it or did any research. And I have a classmate back in San Antonio who teaches yoga and she shared on Instagram live her, um, she ended up doing like a sound bowl meditation where they have like the larger bowls <laughs> and some people call it sound bowl meditation some people call it sound bowl healing but the benefits of it is really again it's supposed to decrease stress right um, it's supposed to promote clarity and it's supposed to promote healing through vibration frequencies so really wild guys um i had a moment again she did it on instagram live and it was like a few minutes during my lunch i'm gonna say maybe like 15 to 20 minutes um maybe not even 20 minutes but it was wonderful it was great i was rejuvenated i felt like it's weird because it's not like i had a coffee and it's also not like i had an energy drink but i just felt fantastic and it was just really low stress i can't describe it but i'm like trying <laughs> I hope a few of those things help you guys out as much as they have been helping me out. If you have any other recommendations of maybe how I can normally get out of those funks, please leave me a comment below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe if you want to keep up with my videos. I definitely plan on coming out with at least one weekly. I'm still learning, still absorbing, still figuring it all out. <laughs> Hope you guys have a really great day and thanks for watching. This is your self-love enthusiast wishing you joy, health, and growth.